Hey guys, so I wanted, to, I'm gonna have to edit that part out. No one says so like that. Uh, anyway, maybe I'll leave it in. Oh my God, start over. I'm not gonna start over. So I wanted to make a YouTube video on uh, fitness, working out, and body image <clears throat> on YouTube. A lot of you for five years now, ever since I started uh, posting videos, have been wanting me to make a video on my workout routine, and I haven't done it. The reason why I haven't done it is because I've felt like there's so many tram guys on YouTube that are so much more fit than I am. I mean, these guys work really, really hard. They've got 6% body fat. They must not eat anything they like. You know, they work out all the time and they're really committed and their bodies show it. And I am not that guy. And so I felt like, you know, who am I to give uh, fitness advice or talk about my workout routine when I'm really mellow, <clears throat> when I'm really mellow about my workout. But then at some point I realized that, you know, that thinking was off. It was it was completely wrong. It was ridiculous. It was, you know, as if I was um, illegitimizing my level of fitness and my life choices um, just because they don't get me 6% body fat and, you know, the, a shredded physique. And that's just, that's not, not fair. It's unfair. All of us have really valid bodies and it was, you know, presumptuous of me to assume that everybody wanting to, to have a fitness video was looking to get a 6% body fat physique and that they just wanted to be really shredded. Everybody has different goals. You know, and everybody's goal is super valid. You know, my goal, fitness-wise, is never going to be 6% body fat, ever. I can't, it's not, cake, cookies, and beer are more important to me than 6% body fat. And it's always going to be like that. It's just, it's who I am. And I'm, I'm fine with how I look. I don't care. I've got, you know, a little bit of extra. It just, it doesn't bother me. So, my fitness routine goes something like this. Uh, I eat pretty healthy most of the time. I don't do a lot of carbs. I don't do any fast food. I don't do any soda. Um, and probably 80% of my meals during the week are really healthy. The rest of the time, they're absolute crap. I love eating out. I like greasy pizza. I like burgers. I like beer. I love dessert. And the other 20% of the time, that is what I'm doing and I love it and it's delicious and it's not going to change. <clears throat> so that's what my eating looks like. Now remember, the rest of the time, it's incredibly healthy. So, you know, there is some offset there. And when it comes to my workout routine, it's also not very intense. I definitely work out almost every day, but when I go to the gym to lift, which is probably three days a week, I'm lifting for 25 or 30 minutes. That's it. I'm not lifting super hard. I, <clears throat> you know, I'm not, I'm not even lifting super heavy. For instance, my dumbbells for my shoulder work, um, they're 35 pounds. And my dumbbells for my chest work are 55 pounds. I'm not straining myself. I do, you know, a few, a few uh, sets of 10 here and there. I wander around, I check Facebook, I do a few more, you know, it's just not very hardcore. Uh, when it comes to cardio, and I really want you to hear the use of that word lightly because I don't even break a sweat, I either cycle at the gym, run at the gym on the treadmill, or I go up and hike in the trails for five or six miles. And I do that a few times a day. There's usually a day a week I'm not exercising, but not always. Um, so that's, that's all that I do for fitness. I, you know, it's not intense. With that being said, I'm, I'm pretty active in my life. I mean, I have a four-year-old daughter. That keeps me really active. Tiff and I also backpack a couple times a year. 
Um, and just generally speaking, you know, we do a lot of stuff. So uh, active lifestyle is, it probably helps out a lot. Um, but that's it. So nothing, nothing super intense. So if you want to look like this, you can have all this and more by being really lazy with your eating and workout habits. You can do it. I, I do. Um, <laughs> joking aside, and all, every that's a smile for all of you that are wondering why I don't smile. I had to practice it before I made this video. Um, and then I did have one other thing to say seriously, though. We all need to stop con comparing ourselves to other trans and cis men when it comes to our bodies. We all have our own body type. They're all valid body types. And what you see on YouTube and on social media you're seeing exactly what people want you to see. Depending on the lighting and the angle, you know, a person can go from, you know, looking mediocre to looking completely... I can show you. Right now, I'm, you know, pretty average looking, but just watch. Like, I just step back into, there, the magic light. And it's a completely different body. Like, I look... Now I'm ripped. All of a sudden, I look ridiculous ridiculously shredded even though I'm not I'm not shredded but I stepped back into the magic light and that is what happens more often than not when you're looking at somebody's body that you know you're trying to be like you know they that body has been presented in the best possible way and of and of course it has I do the same thing you don't, you know, it's so vulnerable to put yourself up on the internet. So of course you're going to present your body in the best possible way, but you need to keep that in mind when you're, you know, comparing yourself to another person's physique, you know. So I just wanted to add that in there. Comparing is never a good idea. Just, you know, try to be the level of fit that's right for you and your lifestyle. My lifestyle is never going to give me a totally shredded veiny body I like junk food too much and that's a choice that I'm I'm making and I'm okay with it you know so but at the same time if there's a person whose life choices are giving them that ripped shredded body they have just as much right to put it out there on the internet as any of us do so let's just all be proud of our bodies and those of us who want to put our bodies up on the internet you know, there doesn't need to be any hate whether you're shredded or whether you're average. They're all really, really valid.